What's up guys? It is finally starting to warm up outside and I gotta come out of hibernation. This is my first track workout of 2024. I have not run in months, but taking it nice and easy today, just taking it nice and easy today. 10 100s, 15 second pace, just trying to build some endurance, nothing too explosive, rolling starts for each of them. And yeah, we're gonna have fun with it. Not sure how many of these workouts I'm gonna post on this YouTube channel, but again, we're just here to have fun. We're here to try new things and yeah, to get a nice easy mile warm up in i already stretched earlier so not gonna overwork myself here and let's do it so yeah i got that first mile in <laughs> you only get to, get to see me come around three times though because the wind knocked my little phone tripod over there on the first lap and I also realized that my camera its battery is dead so you're only gonna get one camera angle today sorry if you were expecting more but maybe if you leave a like down below you'll get two or three camera angles all that aside I should probably talk about some of my long-term goals for this season so for those of you that know me I run 400 meters that was my best event in high school and it is where my love still lies today even past my competitive career. If you watched my previous video, my lifetime best, 54.5. It's right around where I split my last high school four by four and I still count that as my lifetime best today. But last year I'd say was my most consistent year. I got three raw 56s in, one of them 56.1 and I gotta be honest, I wasn't even finishing 100% there because I thought I was going faster than I was. But just to know that I can achieve that kind of consistency gives me good confidence for when I can produce the finish that I've been waiting for. If I had to guess what I could run right now for a 400, I don't think I could get my personal best. I do think I could get close to what I ran last year off of pure adrenaline, if not better, but I'm not here to find that out today. I'm here to just set some nice and easy goals, hit them, and get out of here. I'm not going to over obsess about the decimal of the 15 for my 100s because again i'm not a distance runner i'll worry about that later in the season once i try and figure out my race plan for the four although it is a sprint you got to have a race plan for the 400 you got to know what pace you can handle you got to know how to execute that pace that's the funnest part about the whole process being a self-trained self-coached athlete you know a lot of it's experimentation and i've learned a lot of things by doing that so this begins the next chapter and one interesting thing that I found just from seeing other people, and I'm curious to see if that pans out for me, is that a lot of times when people document something, they find more motivation to actually stick with it. And that's one thing that I'd say in my post-competitive career that I haven't exactly found consistently. I'll get like maybe two or three workouts in a week and then like something will come up and I'll miss some workouts. I've been lifting a lot in the winter, but that's beside the point when it comes to achieving track fitness. You got to be on it. If you want to take the next step, you got to be on it. So we'll see if that helps this year. Again, all this is just a rough outline. I have no idea how the rest of the season is going to look. First workout, warm up felt just about how I'd expect. And we're going to get these hundreds out of the way and call it a day. I'm using my iPad to time myself in case you missed that for my Blue Jean 400 video. But yeah. Let's do this. I'm thinking currently a minute of rest, but since this thing's kind of low on battery and I just want to film this and get out of here, I might cut it to 45. I don't know. We'll see. six reps in and I just realized I forgot to take my sweatshirt off. Whew. Rough first day back y'all. What was that I said about this being easy? I'm dying man. Two to go.
Thank God that's over. <sighs> I am back. Not better than ever, but I'm back. And I got through it and did have a few splits in the mid upper 15s. That's no big deal to me. I mean, I did also give myself a little bit extra rest in the last two reps because I was dead. I could like not get off the line. I mean, obviously those rolling starts meant to alleviate that explosiveness, but still a long way to go. But you know, I've had tougher workouts before. I'll just get it a, a little cool down in. Something I also don't normally do as a sprinter, but very much needed after that workout, I'll tell you that. So for those of you who maybe haven't tried that workout before, do so at your own risk. Do so at your own understanding of your fitness because even I, a veteran of the sport, taught myself a couple valuable lessons today. All right, so I think that'll do it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more.